Hello everyone, this is Yolanda here and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2020. This week's video is going to be about week one of my digital detox. So if you saw my previous video, video which I'll link to this video about digital minimalism, minimalism and how I was taking a 30 day break from optional technologies, including social media, Netflix, YouTube. And it was also a review of the book, Digital Minimalism. So I'm going to do for the month of January, I'm going to do weekly videos where I just do a check in and summary of how my week has gone. So my digital detox started the evening of January 1st and so far so good. Um, it's been really refreshing and peaceful and surprisingly not difficult to make the transition. There were the first couple of nights I did want to watch Netflix before going to bed because that's something that I got into a habit of doing. I'll watch one or two episodes, sometimes more. One or two, but not more than three episodes before going to bed. So the first couple of nights I definitely wanted to watch Netflix before falling asleep, but uh, I read instead. So yeah, that's really only been the only hiccup. I mean, I also think that I've picked up my phone a lot, checking my text messages. So I think the first couple of days also, I was like picking up my phone, checking to see if I had a text message or not, because I set my text messages to silent delivery. So I only see them if I pick up my phone and look at my notifications. I don't get um, a vibration or anything when someone sends me a text message. So yeah, other than that, it's like I said, it's been smooth. And I think the transition has been smooth because I prepared myself well in advance. So like probably the end of October or beginning of November, you know, I firmly decided that I was going to take this detox in January. So, you know, mentally and emotionally, I had a couple of months to prepare myself to step away and doing reading digital minimalism and, you know, thoughtfully considering my own relationship to optional technologies during that time, you know, help me make a clean break so to speak. So what have I been doing? Reading a lot. I generally like to read when I wake up and before I go to bed. Sometimes I just read before I go to bed. New Year's Eve I stopped by the library to pick up some books that finally came in for me. One of those books was The Water Dancer. Excellent book. I'm almost done. I have like two chapters. I generally read about for probably a couple of hours a day and I picked up some other books that I have uh, to keep me busy. Like I said in the morning and at night to replace scrolling on social media during those times. So I've been reading i've been working on an application for a grant that i'm applying for for a new project that i'm working on i mentioned it also in the last video black eastern shore so i've started the application process for that and also started making like a detailed outline and reviewing my bibliography so i've been working on that and then the other thing that i said i was going to do that i've been doing is making art i've been doing digital drawings and digital collage i got a Wacom drawing tablet for Christmas. So I've been playing with that and getting comfortable using that. And I made some physical collage. That collage I did over the weekend. And believe it or not, it took me five, six hours probably just cutting and pacing. You can't tell, you can't see the details up close, but those birds, the cardinals, are made up of, you know, probably hundreds of little strips of paper. The time just went by and I just kept going and I didn't stop and get bored or think about like what's happening on social media or what's going on on the TV. I have been allowing myself to listen to podcasts because they don't require me to look at my screen. So I just start the podcast and let it go. So that's something I've listened to, I think two or three podcasts over the past week, but that's the average that I listen to anyway. Just random other like projects and things that I've been putting off, like fixing my aunt's necklace. I finally did that. I've been journaling every day. So basically in the evening is when I basically write my thoughts about the day and how the detox went. I also document my screen time and the number of pickups on my phone. My screen time on my phone is down 60% to one hour and 11 minutes. And the number of pickups is down 41% to 34 pickups a day, which I still think is a little high. So I'm working on that. One of the things that I also have done to try to reduce the number of times I pick up my phone is to get a watch. So this is one of the Christ another Christmas gift that I got. And instead of looking at my phone to check the time, I check 
my watch. Yeah, other than that, I found that, so I used to like make myself wake up earlier than normal to try to get work done. And I've realized over the past week that I don't actually have to wake up early because the time that I'm saving by not looking at my phone gives me plenty of time to do everything that's on my to-do list. So I can actually like wake up naturally instead of trying to wake up early to make sure that I'm getting all my work done. Next week, week two, my plans are to do some upgrades to my laptop this weekend. I'm going to be replacing the battery and replacing the hard drive. Watch the videos, I got all my tools and it seems pretty simple. So I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna continue working on the grant application. I want to get my resume in order, create the bibliography and the project statement. I have to do a thousand character project statement. So those are the three things I want to work on in week two. And there's some preliminary forms that you have to complete with every application. I want to finish those up. I need to reschedule my dentist appointment. I hope my dentist office is not closed down like for good. I was supposed to have an appointment on New Year's Eve and they never called me and I called them the day of my appointment and the office was closed so I assumed that it was just because of the holiday but I left a message they haven't called me back yet so I don't know might need to find a new dentist. I also need to reschedule my annual doctor's appointment because my doctor left. I need to look at my budget. Like I don't like look at it, the spreadsheet. My budget is very tight. So I know it like the back of my hand, but I think it's still useful to look at it monthly and sort of do a monthly reconciliation for the things that are not in the budget. So the things, the extra things that the miscellaneous things, I think I need to start revisiting my budget to keep track of those things. So I'm gonna look at that maybe it just might not happen next week but sometime during the month and then I need to still do some more decluttering of emails and I want to go through my computer files again I've gone through them a couple of times already over the past month but I want to go through them again and then other than that I'm going to continue with my art projects and that's it it's really it's really simple so i'll be back i hope you all are doing well if you're doing a digital detox i hope it's going well and i will be back next week to check in with week two thanks for watching peace